If you've been feeling like bugs are crawling all over your skin, inside of your skin, it's freaking you out and you don't know what to do about it and you just want relief, I'm going to share with you exactly why it's happening, what it means, and what to do about it. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I help my clients master their dream life through spiritual guidance. So if you like what you hear, please hit that thumbs up button, let YouTube know we want to stick around, and hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll know exactly when we come over live, and you'll be notified whenever we upload a spiritually guided video, reading, or discussion. So why in the world are you feeling this crawling sensation inside of your skin outside of on your body and what the heck does it mean so you might have seen this term paresthesia and the definition is prickling numbness tickling and burning of a person's skin with no apparent physical reason and it's said that paresthesia can be transient or acute or chronic, meaning there's no humanly logical cure. But there's a dozen of possible underlying causes. So when you seek out the definition of this humanly logical explanation, you're going to see words like typical, probable, and those mean that there is no definition that really sticks. It's theorized. And when you have that against spiritual alchemy, you have the separation of being human and being the soul within your human. There's also a supposed definitions of this crawling sensation under your skin and over your body being caused by syphilis ticks and autoimmune or human immunodeficiency virus and infection. Also vitamin deficiencies such as vitamin B, folate, vitamin E, and systemic inflammatory diseases. Now all of these things are supposed deficiencies causing this feeling of bugs crawling under and over your skin. But none of these things speak of the spiritual meaning. And so to be quite honest with you, the anxiety of feeling this itching and burning and tickling and tingling sensation can be humanly termed as a panic attack. And in your human, you really do seek that logical explanation. But here's the thing. You are the soul within your human. And anything you experience in the fourth dimension, meaning in your lifetime, originates from spiritual alchemy, which is spiritual truth. And the truth is, this sensation that you receive is actually kundalini rising and spiritual awakening symptoms. That's right. When you feel this crawling sensation, you are experiencing the beginning or the onset of enlightenment. You are tapping into your higher self and there is no humanly logical explanation to spiritual guidance see spiritual guidance is the way our, our creator divine source reaches out to us and spiritual awakening is that moment that we realize we are the soul within our human and that creates a very fearful reality to many. So it can really be scary to feel energy within our human. 
But what's actually happening is you are feeling yourself rise. And you are feeling the Holy Spirit that lives in each and every one of us. Now, you don't have to be religious or deeply devout to a religious umbrella to understand that everything scientifically goes back to energy. And that's right. You are energy as well. So when you start feeling this tingling and this crawling sensation, it's really time to engage in a meditation and it's really time to ease your human into understanding what our human is conditioned not to understand. It is spiritual awakening. Spiritual love is twin flame and romantic soulmate love. And when you experience the kundalini rising within you, it is unlike any other sensation that your human has ever felt. And it can be life altering. There is a tremendous paradigm shift that begins to pull you closer to the very dreams and the visions that you have longed for. And that awareness that you are that special and you are meant to live on purpose and achieve great things begins to become clearer. And your human begins to become more and more afraid of the unlimited, untapped potential that he or she begins to see because you, the soul, begin to be drawn even more to this vibrancy. And as your kundalini begins to rise, your seven primary chakras and every other chakra within your human begins to elevate. And the burning and the itching and the crawling and the climbing and the rising begins to awaken the dormant energy that once was. And it frightens many beautiful souls just like you because it's really the conditioned energy, the fear-based energy of your human. And so this is the time for you to welcome your awareness of enlightenment and consciousness that begins to develop. It becomes increasingly impossible to ignore that you are the soul within your human and you are gifted with spiritual gifts that only you can use to help other people live their life journey and not only that but to be successful doing it because you realize this is your soul calling this is your purpose this is your life mission and you begin to feel that maybe the life you've been living has been a lie well I'm here to tell you and to validate that it hasn't been and this is the very crucial part that many beautiful people just like you mistaken. It's very easy to let go of your human and to really be hard on yourself when in actuality that's the exact opposite of what you must do to get through a kundalini rising and spiritual awakening. Embrace your human. Embrace your ego. Embrace your shadow side and take that part of who you are along for the ride for you are a dual being and you are the soul within your human if there's anything that I can do for you to help you along your journey I'm here for you I love you and yes you have a purpose to live to enjoy and to be a part of this collective experience 
of spiritual guidance. If you are new to our platform, welcome. If you are back again for spiritual guidance, thank you. Please share spiritual guidance, share our videos, and leave a comment down below and just share what you've been experiencing so that you can allow someone else to understand that they're not in it alone any more than you are. Welcome to your spiritual superstar family. Honey, we're all about love and hugs and support, never any judgment, because we understand that feeling. We understand feeling crazy. We understand being misunderstood. Welcome to your new tribe. Welcome home, and thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.